Today we're talking about how to improve your emotional intelligence at work. Well, before we talk about how to, I want to first clarify what it is and why it matters. Well, it's said that emotional intelligence is key for project managers and leaders. Well, what do we mean when we talk about emotional intelligence? It's the capacity to be aware, control, and express one's emotions and handle interpersonal relationships empathetically. So what all does it include? Well, a lot of emotional intelligence is the key word, emotion. So it includes perceiving emotions, understanding emotions, using emotions, and managing them. So when we talk about emotions and we talk about different domains and competencies, it's broken down into self and others. And so when we talk about self, it's self-awareness, really having emotional self-awareness, understanding what your emotions are, when they come up, what triggers them, again, and how to leverage them come, falls under the self-management part. So it's emotional self-control, adaptability to certain situations, achievement-oriented, and positive outlook. So when we talk about others, we're looking at social awareness in relationship management, uh, in relationship to the other person. So it's having empathy. It's having organizational awareness. Again, knowing what's going on with emotions with different people in the organization. So relationship management is understanding how to influence, how to coach and mentor others, how to resolve conflict, how to establish teamwork, and even inspire others. So why does it matter? Well, it, the research shows that it leads to increased leadership ability and improved decision-making, increased personal well-being and decreased work stress, and increased team performance and reduced staff turnovers. So to me, those are some very strong benefits and reasons why we care about emotional intelligence at work. So when we talk about how to improve, I want to look at two different areas, one with self and others. And so here's just an example in these two. I want to look at the 80-20 rule. What are two things that will give you the biggest bang for your buck? So improve emotional self-control. So when you're a project manager or when you're a leader, maybe have different initiatives and deadlines that are very important and the stakes are high and sometimes the team frustrations get high. Well, one thing to do is we know on projects, things don't go always as planned. So one thing is don't explode when things don't go your way. Be able to control your emotions, understand, you know, the reasons why things aren't going that way and realize there are other members on the team that are working really hard to make things happen. Also, don't take credit for everything. We've all been in that situation where we've worked really hard and someone else has taken the credit for what we've done, well, that triggers other people. So that's not high awareness of other people and the work that they've done. Also, don't brag about how good you are. If you're in the project manager position or the leadership position, by bragging and acting like you're superior than others is naturally going to either trigger others, uh, maybe shut others down, and you really need the, the high performance of the people on your team. Then when we look at others, it's really improving empathy with others. And ways we can do that is be aware of others' emotions. There are certain things that trigger other people. We actually have human beings who work on our teams and sometimes things are happening outside of work that impact their emotions. So being aware of that and really determining, detect when someone is shut down or upset. Because if someone's shut down or upset, again, they're not performing optimally. And then also leveraging this information when you're resolving team conflict is very powerful. So these are just a few ideas on how you can improve emotional intelligence at work. And if you need some additional resources or even a tool that can help, then sign up for our software now at projectmanager.com.